morning, everybody. It is 7.55 a.m. I've been driving for well over two hours now. I left out of Athens a bit after five. Um, not feeling 100%. I didn't get much sleep. We had some friends over uh, last night. And so, anyway, I'm a little foggy, but I'm excited because I'm heading to Cumberland Island. Uh, I'm heading to the dock right now uh, to meet Jason. We're gonna take the ferry over and spend the day and the evening there, camp out, and then we're gonna go to Driftwood Beach after that. And so I'm real excited about the photography potential of this trip. Jason has never been to Cumberland Island, so I'm just excited to kind of show him around and just watch him experience this magical place. And I'm hopeful that I'll get some decent photographs. It's supposed to be pretty cloudy the whole time, but to me that's better than just pure blue sky and sunshine. I don't know if we'll get any sunrises or sunsets, but we'll at least have some good even light for all of the beautiful trees and the forests that cover the vast majority of the island. And so, welcome. Uh, I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy the beauty of Cumberland. Many of you watching this have probably been there before, so you know what a magical place it is. And for those of you who have never been, maybe this video will pique your interest because I love it. It's an amazing location and I can't go back enough. Alright, so here we are at our campsite at Cumberland, and I gotta say, I'm kind of proud of myself. I set this up a lot faster than I thought I might. I've never hammock camped fully before. I have hammock camped before, but it was kind of a half-hearted, middle of the night, just needed a place to sleep type of hammock camping. I got an actual rain fly, which went up pretty easily, and it might rain tonight, so I might need it. And this is my little... Uh, Kind of cozy area. I have a little inflatable kind of support mattress here that packs real small and I've got my nice uh, comfortable sleeping bag so I think this is going to go pretty well. Let's see now because I'm ready to go take pictures. Let's see how Jason's doing over here. Jason how are we? Oh. Well, I was out riding ho the wild horses. Oh okay all right well you know I, I just kind of expected Jason's tent to be set up by now because you know, I was taking my time. I wasn't really rushing through it, but evidently I'm just going to sit around now. We'll we'll see how this goes for old Jason. He took a nap. Okay, he took a nap. But uh, yeah, this is an awesome campsite. We're in Group South uh, because basically there were no more campsites left um, on this Sunday evening in the winter time. So you would not really expect there to be a lot of camping here, but I was wrong. There's lots of camping going on. So they allowed us to, bo to book this group site, which is actually okay because this is probably the campsite we will end up staying in um, when we bring everybody here. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Just look around me. I mean, you can't get any more beautiful than this uh, camping and taking pictures. It's just stunning. And so we're really happy to be here and we've got a lot of space for the two of us. And we're gonna go take some pictures here soon and hold on just a second, let me give you an update. Let's see, let's see how Jason's doing. Update, the tent is, there's movement with the tent, but it is not, I can't find my tent. it has not been erected yet. All right, well, Jason's tent is pitched, but there is no rain fly <laughs> and there is a decent chance of rain tonight. So <laughs> it could get interesting. We'll see. 
the the good the back up is he brought this tarp to put it on there and so i guess what we're going to do is just fling that tarp tarp on the top and see how that goes <laughs> about 40 yards from our campsite and Jason and I are already set up shooting um, because it's just it's incredible I don't know uh, we got to make it to the ruins because we just need to go scout that and probably shoot it around sunset but at the pace we're going we won't make it even a fourth of the way there before sunset but these trees are just so amazing that I, I have to stop and shoot them. I mean and I could shoot every one of these trees five different ways with five different compositions um, it's just it's paradise it is paradise for photographers and even if you're not a photographer just to be here it's a really amazing place <music> is this tree I mean it is enormous yeah there's trees on this island that are 500 years old or older um, and I love trees you know that you've probably been following my work for long enough to know that and so this is just it's paradise it's in incredible we've been taking gobs of images I'm trying to shoot some footage some b-roll uh, so I can take you all along with this but sometimes I just want to take pictures and I don't want to worry about the video so um, I hope I can do it justice and, and really show you all how magical this day has been and we still have two hours literally until sunset we still haven't made it to the ruins I want to take them um, down the Nightingale Trail uh, we haven't gone to the boardwalk there's just too much to see we need to be here for a week one night not enough update we still have not reached the ruins and <laughs> We are at T minus an hour and a half till sunset, but it's just, it's so good. We can't give up some of these shots. So uh, I'm just gonna keep showing you photos throughout this video. I'm gonna talk a lot less than I normally do because I'll just let the beauty speak for it.
Well, this isn't luxury camping, but after all of the miles we walked today and all the photos we took, this is going to hit the spot. Well, good morning, everybody. I am out here on the beach and um, waiting for the sun to come up. I think there's some potential for color. Uh, there's a lot of clouds, but they're broken in areas. Uh, but it's our first time out here on the beach. We're in the woods and the forest pretty much all day yesterday. So scouting a, a composition in the dark with just a headlamp is kind of tough. I'll show you what I found. I'm going for texture uh, in the sand and I don't know if it's going to turn out or not, but I'll, I'll show it to you anyway and we'll see how this goes. So I've climbed to basically the highest dune and I'm right up here on the ridge line of it. And there's lots of little small intricate textures in the sand being kind of carved out by the sea oats and by the wind. And I'm hoping the raking light, the morning sun, is gonna set that off. So, I don't know if you can see out there, that's the beginnings of the sunrise. But I'm up here very, very high. I'm about to set up and then I'm just gonna wait. Thank you all for following along with me on my journey to Cumberland. It's one of my favorite places in the entire world and I hope I was able to do it justice with this video. Here are a few more images from my stay there. And if you enjoyed this video and you know others that might want to see it, then feel free to share it. You can also like and subscribe to this channel 
can follow along with more adventures that I have as I take photos throughout Georgia and beyond.